This video is our presentation of Dennis and Mines Corp. Brought to you by AllPennyStocks.com. Dennis is an Amex, or now so-called NYSE market listed company, trading our ticker DNN. It's one of our U.S. technical stocks to watch this week. It's an interesting chart. You can tell it is by the RSIs, fighting to gain some strong momentum. Stock coming off a bottom, made a pretty nice move from a buck twenty-eight up near dollar forty. But interesting to note here is the big large channel looks like this chart's trying to establish. Bounced off this dollar twenty area several times over the last year upper end right around two dollars and of course there's some short-term resistance in the way but this chart's one to keep an eye on to see if this upward pressure is going to continue this week now right off we're seeing an upward shift in trend it looks like based on the MACD right near the upper end of that channel at this point of course moving towards zero which is a key indication of bullishness PPO also trending upward in the near term ADX down very low we talk about that when it's down near that marker of 10 to look for a reversal because there's really no strength in a direction at this point so I look for some upward movement in the ADX for the chart to gain some strength to a direction. Money flow index also at a critical point. See it's been battling to hold above 50. Once again right at that point. Want to see it above 50 to show that people are paying higher prices over the last given periods. Accumulation distribution also kind of in a box. Channeling looking for a breakthrough now to start making some higher highs. Shake and money flow has moved above zero. Tells me over the last 20 periods buying pressure is outweighing selling pressure. CCI back above zero tells me that the price is trading above its average mean over the last 20 periods. Again, that's a bullish thing to see. Full stow approaching that 50 mark. In any chart, you want to see that full stow above 50 and trending above that level to show it's sustaining momentum. And also early on, starting to trend back towards zero. As I mentioned, RSI is at a critical point, also a gauge of momentum. Bulls and bears been fighting it out for the last month. And what that's all reflective of is the price per share. It's making some pretty nice moves then retracing. Bulls in control, bears in control. Now the bulls look like they're starting to try and come back into this play. I would identify that bottom support right down there near $1.20, generally an area. See it went all the way down to $1.17, bounced off $1.21, bouncing off $1.22. This time it looks like it's trying to make another higher low. Could be the onset of an uptrend. Of course the overall markets performed very well at the end of last week. DNN went right along with that. Miners in general have had a really tough time over several months and Denison is no exception, but that's about as far as I'm going to go with the fundamentals on this. It's just a technical look at it. Now, I do see a little bit of support right in here through $1.35. If this chart pulls back and can't hold $1.35, I'd suspect it's going to come back down here near the $1.20 area. It does pick up a little bit more at $1.30, but at this point in time, I'd want to see it hold $1.35 to continue the upward pressure and continue to make the higher lows. From a resistance side of things, certainly see some coming in there around $1.50 going to be a secondary resistance at $1.40 to try and push through the 50-day moving average. And there is a little bit of static resistance there as well. But I see it picking up around $1.50 with the 200-day moving average registering $1.53 to add some dynamic resistance to that area as well. Now if it can break through that, more secondary resistance around $1.70, but the potential of it possibly going up here and challenge the upper end of this channel again is increased because it's pushing through all these levels of resistance and there's just not much in the way that can break through the $1.70. Now it's a huge upside from where it is. That sort of a move can take many weeks to happen. So I'm not talking about that happening this week. I'm keeping things in the short term. And that's looking for upward pressure this week and seeing how it reacts to the $1.50 resistance point. With always keeping in mind, I want to see volume increases. 458,000 shares traded. That's not terrible liquidity in this play. That's right about average for it over the last three months. Perhaps a little bit, perhaps a little bit on the light side. So I'd be looking for volume to pick up. See if it can blow through the 50 day, and of course, most importantly, holding that support level. And we'll see where this chart goes from here. As always, merely my interpretation of the DNN chart. I'm not a financial consultant, strongly encourage you to do your own property due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the allpennystocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. And do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by Allpenny Stocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.